How do I stop this thing? Oh, yeah. Hey, sorry. I was taking a nap. Oh. Here I am. As good as my word. That's not creepy to wake up and see a ghost next to you. Hello. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It took the cunning of a Slytherin to track down these pages. Well said. Now, where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. Okay. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. And you. Is that Latin? Shut up. Or Greek? Hmm. There's skull and crossbones. I don't really like this. Nothing to do now but keep going. You say that, but there's plenty we could do. You know, we could just stop. You know, that's an option. I never quit! There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Whisper the password. Yeah, but... But... Oh, right here? Okay. Intramuros. Whoa. Gee, that was cool. <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Oh no. I knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Jackdaw has led me. I like how she's like, what? 15? 16? Just killed. All of them. Nobody is like, oh no, you just killed a bunch of stuff. You know how like in like other video games it'll be like that? Like, it's, just, it's just funny. I wonder how big this place is. Cannot roll my eyes any louder. I assume it's pretty big. What are those? They have a fire symbol on it. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Wow. It's so cool to live here, you know? Of magic. That'd be cool. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. Yeah, but it, it, it wasn't that difficult. There's only two of them? No, where is it? Oh, there it is. Is that it? Yes, I got it! That is so cool! So cool. The only one question though, how do I get back up? It's a huge thing, you know? Horse spiders. Oh, someone, something saw me. Or not? What was that? Ah. 
Here we go. That was easy. Gotcha! Whoa, that was cool. Come on! Yes! Give me all of the ancient magic. Give me. There we go. The bridge. It's almost complete. More uh. Come on. Where? Oh, glad I moved. Yeah. down to see what button I had to press. Oh, yay! Come on! Ow! Come on. Ow. Oh, I put the wrong button. Dang it. Come on, I almost got it. Leave me alone! Yes! I can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Gabriel came this way. Jeez, that was insane! We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Oh! Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. You got killed by those things! Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Why are they going purple? Oh. Oh! oh! Heck yeah! Oh, fudge. Oh, no. Come on. Ancient magic, get him. There's two of them now? No! Oh! 
Oh wait, X, X, X. Yes. I got it. What? Why? What? No. What? What's happening? Oh. It's like the wisps or something. In Gringos and the restricted section. Sure, let's go in here. You know, no one knows where we are except the ghost, so that should be okay. Is it gonna be like a bowl in the center? You'll be able to look through it again? Paintings? Without people in it? Someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? Yes. To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. That's cool. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. Professor Fig. I did uh -huh. promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. But what about uh, Jackdaw? What about him? Like the last time I I left him was out in the woods. To go to flying class, I get a broom. Oh, yeah. Hey, sorry, I was taking a nap. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Yes! Yes! I get a broom! Yes! Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Hi. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. <laughs> now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. Uh, For those who need a refresher, I didn't. Step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Thank you. Now, your turn. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Uh. Up! Cool. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Uh. 
That ah, oh, that'd be so cool. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take Check care. Room. The brooms are school property. This will take. I want them returned in one piece. This is so cool. That is so cool. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Sure. Where am I going? This next set of rings will take you around the ground. Or what have you? Hello. Nice day for a flight. Uh-huh. Too bad. That that be so cool. I'm not pretty sure I'd be scared as heck if I was just actually on a broom. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. I'm flying. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I you. imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Uh, no. Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. <laughs> the tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. <laughs> Dude, why are you going up and down? Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Whoop. Yeah, excuse us. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is everyone flying so quickly? How do I stop this thing? Hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> and where have you two been? Nowhere. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Thanks, dude. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. I will. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Perhaps, but we did get in trouble and Kagawa could hold it against us. Rotten luck, that. I didn't think she'd see us. But it's no matter. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. Mm. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Why does she want to meet Professor here? Professor Weasley? <sighs> Somewhere away from prying eyes. Why does she want to meet here? No way, this is like Oh uh, Halloween Town crud. The 
forgive me. The headmaster stopped me, and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. What? Shall we? After you, Professor. Yeah, I'd be like, you go first. I don't trust in there. What is this place? Wow. This is the womb of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. Wow. I only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay. Oh, geez, that's a lot. That's a... That was a lot of movement. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, hang on. Excellent work. Whoa! You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. I hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Yeah, I'd be scared to walk into that. Stop them! No, not that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh, okay. I was like, no. I was like, I'll fight you. I will. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Aww. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Yeah, that's Eight what she said. Students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. That's cool. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. That is so cool. How awesome would it be to have this in real life? Like, that'd be awesome. I would be scared. But they're so calm and then I'm just like freaking out over there. Wow. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Wow, look at this room. That's so cool. You'll find
find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I always click D instead of clicking F. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. Yes! I'll teach you. Yes! Ooh, I'm learning another spell. I'm gonna conjure stuff. Yay! Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Okay. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Okay. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Nice. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plots and brew potions in class. Sweet. That is so cool. Alright. Can I go back? You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okay. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. 